a salute to them and to their ingenuity and, and, and courage really in keeping us all safe. Who are these activists who have risked their lives fighting the rising heat waves across Pakistan? A major reason for Pakistan's rising heat waves is the lack of forest cover in the country. Only 1% of Pakistan is covered by trees, and that makes heat waves stronger and a lot longer. But one man in Karachi is on a mission to minimize the impact of climate change in Pakistan. Masood Loha is an environmental activist who is transforming his dream of creating his own forest into reality. Because Pakistan's forest cover is drastically low, which is 2%, and also the cities are dominated by the concrete, and the concrete is becoming the new outlook of our cities and our towns, uh, I started this project to create a model where we can say that we can rehabilitate and restore the ecosystem by creating a habitat. And uh, this uh, Clifton Urban Forest is uh, an example that you can, if you can do this in a city like Karachi, you can just do this anywhere in the world. This 20-acre Clifton Urban Forest was designed to respond to several challenges facing the modern metro lifestyle of Karachi. Within 16 months, Masood has planted more than 85,000 trees from 78 different species. And the results of this massive reforestation efforts have been dramatic. Over 115 different species of birds have begun arriving at the lagoon constructed by Masood. Supported by the Sindh government, his efforts have helped Karachi heal from the devastating impact of climate change. Around 10 different bird species have started nesting and breeding here, laying eggs in some parts of the forests. Two species of honeybees have now made hives inside the forest. It used to be called city of lights. Now I call it city of kites, because if you look up at the horizon, everywhere you see kites flying. And they are predators and they are scavengers. So it is a reflection that what kind of a city we are. The biggest benefit of uh, planting native species is to restore the ecosystem, which is compromised in Karachi. And you are seeing that the birds are coming, honeybees are coming, a uh, lot of beetles, insects, and different things, wildlife. So that is the reflection of the fact that we have planted native trees and native creepers and grasses and herbs. Afforestation is critical to mitigate climate change. Forests help to stabilize the climate by way of regulating the ecosystems and protecting biodiversity. But Pakistan's rapidly growing population has put pressure on the country's natural resources. And Karachi residents like Masood are on the front line to ensure that the natural environment is always preserved and protected. Our beaches are just plots and concrete, uh, you know, real estate. Uh, just look at the, that thing. They have gone over five kilometers inside and they have created these uh, buildings which are of course for the elite and for the rich people. And then on the other hand you see all the creeks and the wetlands and the lagoons, which are part of the marine ecosystem, have been encroached and they've made golf clubs, they have, you know, private clubs, they have made the airmen clubs, they have made, uh, you know, apartments for their own self. Then we have Mr. Masood Loha. I showed him the brief introduction that I had written and he said, just call me a solution maker. Pakistan has the highest rate of urbanization in South Asia. According to the 2017 population census, 36.4% of the population lives in urban areas. The UN Population Division estimates that by 2025, nearly half the country's population will be living in cities. Masud feels that something must be done fast before it's too late. Something fundamentally is gone with this, with this city. And what happened, it's irreparable. 
लेकिन अभी भी थोड़ा बहुत कुछ कर लिया जाए तो ये शहर जिसमें पाकिस्तान की टोटल पॉपुलेशन का 10 परसेंट रहता है और ये शहर पूरे मुल्क को खिलाता है तो ये बच सकता है नहीं तो भाई साहब वो तैयारी कर लो मैं प्रोफेशनल हूँ मैं आपको बता रहा हूँ यू आर सिटिंग ऑन अ टाइम मॉम